This one is Little Red Riding Hood. This is our last book for the night. This was uh, 1988. So this one was one year after Mommy was born. So this one's 30, 31 years old. Once upon a time, there lived a little girl who had beautiful red cloak with a hood. The little girl wore it every day, and that's why she was called Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother said, Your grandmother's not feeling well. I want you to take her these honey cakes to her. Now remember, do not stop and speak with anyone you and do not leave the path. I will remember, said Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood set out for Grandmother's house. Soon as the wolf came along, spoke to her. Why are you I up? I that one's ready. I know. We're going to read this one more, one more time because it got interrupted by Daddy and Josh. Um, where, why are you off so early? The wolf asked. Little Red Riding Hood forgot what her mother had told her and, and answered, I'm taking these honey cakes to my grandmother. She is not feeling very well. I'm sorry to hear that, said the wolf. But the wolf was really not sorry at all. Uh, where does your grandmother live? asked the wolf. Grandmother lives in the cottage past the windmill, said Little Red Riding Hood. I see, said the wolf. Why don't you pick a bouquet for your grandmother? He suggested, pointing to some wild flowers. I'm not supposed to leave the path, answered Little Red Riding Hood, but I'm sure Grandmother would like such pretty flowers. So Little Red Riding Hood left to pick, left the path to pick some. The wolf hurried along to Grandmother's cottage. Who's there? asked Grandmother. Hearing a noise by the gate, it's Little Red Riding Hood said the wolf in a tiny voice lift the latch and come in grandmother said the wolf went in and ate grandmother one two three then he put on grandmother's nightgown and nightcap and climbed into her bed when little red riding hood reached grandmother's cottage she was surprised to find the gate open and when she walked in, she knew something was not right. Grandmother, what big ears you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. The better to hear you with, my dear. What big eyes you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. The better to see you with, my dear. What big teeth you have, Little Red Riding Hood said. The better to eat with, my dear. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Then the wolf jumped out of bed and ate up Little Red Riding Hood. One, two, three. All at once, the wolf grew sleepy and climbed back into bed for a nap. While he was snoring loudly, a hunter passed the cottage and heard him. The hunter went inside and saw the wolf. I've got you at last, you wicked wolf, the hunter said, and he killed the wolf. One, two, three. Suck him, boom. The hunter saw the wolf looked very fat. So he carefully cut the wolf open. Snip, snip. Out popped Little Red Riding Hood. Snip, snip. Out popped Grandmother. They hugged each other tightly. After dragging the wolf outside, the hunter sat down with Grandmother and Little Red Riding Hood. And the three of them feasted on the honey cake. Soon Grandmother was feeling better. We won't ever have to worry about that wicked wolf again, she said. Little Red Riding Hood set out for her home. As she hurried along, she said over and over, I won't ever leave the path again when Mother tells me not to, I promise. She never did, and she lived happily ever after. The End